and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Phelan, our cameraman is Henry, and today we're going to show you the Grey Wolf 26 DBH. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started up front today. This does come with your power tongue jack here on the front. Behind that is your dual 20 pound LP tank. Comes with your hard case cover with your easy access lid so you can get right into your valves. Behind that you'll notice the two bars. That is where your battery box, you can mount up to two on there. Uh, usually you only need one unless you do uh, off-grid or dry camping. Then you'll probably want to put the second battery box there. It does have your radius front end along with your diamond plate rock guard here in the front. Um, along with your batteries, if you do off-grid camping or dry uh, boondocking, there is a solar uh, portable, <laughs> a portable solar panel port here on the front that you can connect to to maintain your batteries on the front. Front storage compartment, nice storage there. This does go back in underneath your bed, and so you can access it from the inside or from the outside here. Dropping down below is your electric stabilizer jacks. This does come with your power stabilizer jacks. I do have it in the down position so you can see what that looks like. And basically how that operates is when one leg gets down before the other, it applies a small amount of pressure until the other side does the same, and then they go together at that point. Nice power awning here. Uh, it does have your blue LED light underneath your awning fabric. It does also have the easy adjust um, awning arm, so you can adjust the pitch of your awning on either end. So if it is raining, your water will run off of either the front or the back. Along with that, uh, once if you do happen to forget to adjust your pitch, after about two gallons of water on your awning, rather than something breaking, it does automatically trip itself to dump that off. So very nice feature. At your entry door, we have what they call the stable step. So you can see it goes down to the ground. It's not a suspended step like we've had in the past. Uh, very easy to set up and take down. You basically open your entry door. You pick this up and then you'll notice that there's a latch over here on the left hand side that latches into the frame of your door. You would close your entry door, flip your uh, grab assist handle over your door and you're ready to go. Uh, before we get started with the outside kitchen, you will notice this quick uh, connect adapter down below. So if you do have an outdoor grill, you can uh, quick connect into that port and feed off your dual 20 pound LP tanks on the front and those will be filled by the outpost RV for you. Outside kitchen comes with a refrigerator and an ice maker on this side and it does have a water sprayer and faucet on this side. So you do have water access out here to fill your um, ice maker if need be. And then you have nice shelf area here to rest your uh, utensils and things. Outside entertainment center, you do have blue lit LED, light, uh, LED speakers on the outside right here and here. And then your TV bracket in the center. And this is compatible to the one on the inside. So if you'd like to take the TV from in there, slide it in out here, uh, you can do that. And your connections are over here on the right. Aluminum rims along with radial tires. I did remove the center cap here so you can see it is an easy lube axle along with your self-adjusting brakes. We also have the tire pressure monitor caps on here. So it does have the number 65 on there so you don't have to find the, the fine print on your tire. That is the tire pressure that needs to be on there. And before you leave camping, if you do a visual walk around and you see a red cap, that means your tire pressure is low and you probably want to add more air to the tire before you head out. We also have your black tank flush. So after you dump your black tank, which would be your, uh, what your toilet would go into, uh, there is a sprayer on the back side. So if you connect the water hose to this, it will rinse that out for you. We do have the conventional step here in the back. This would go into the bathroom area and that way if the children need to use the restroom. They don't run all the way through the unit, so you have that second door option here in the bathroom. Leash latch, so if you do have pets, we do have the leash latch on here for you. And then in the back, we have the four by four inch two bumper, so you can remove the end cap for sewer hose storage in the bumper. And then you have your travel rack that already has your spare tire mounted on there for you. If you do have totes or bicycles or whatever you'd like to take along, you can remove and insert the pin on each side for extra storage here on the back. You also notice up at the top uh, between the clearance lights is a black bracket. That is for a backup camera 
if you would like to add that, that would be additional. On the driver's side, we also have storage underneath the bunk area. So you do have quite a bit of storage on the outside on this model. Your dump station down below, you'll notice there's a black handle and a gray handle. Gray handle is for your kitchen sink and your shower. Your black handle would be for your black tank, which is your toilet. And that all dumps out of this one port that you see here. Outside shower does have your hot and cold. You also notice there's a scare light now on this side. So if you're hooking up or dumping after dark, you do have lighting over here for that. Uh, 30 amp connection it does come with your detachable cord that you saw in the front storage compartment And then you have your city water connection and fresh water connection your fresh water connection would be if you dry camp You could fill your fresh water holding tank through this port turn on your water pump switch on the inside for your water supply If you're at a campsite, you just connect a water hose for your water supply moving on up front in front of the slide room We have your cable connection up here I'll open that up so you can see that and then lastly up front we have your six gallon gas electric DSI water heater DSI standing for uh, direct spark ignition so it does ignite by itself you can heat up to 10 gallons of water with gas or electric and 16 gallons of water with a combination of both if you come down here and look on the uh, lower left hand corner right here you'll see the on and off switch that is the electric side of the water heater and then I'll show you the gas switch when we move to the inside. And always make sure you uh, have water in the water heater before you turn on the electric side so you do not burn up your heating element. I believe that concludes the outside of the 26 DBH by Gray Wolf. And now we'll move to the inside. Stepping to the inside, we have your entertainment center on the dividing wall of the bedroom. And then your kitchen, dining room area in the midsection. And then your bunks and bathroom in the back. So I think we'll give you a little bit of a visual here before we get started and then we will get started on the overhead cabinet in the kitchen area. This is where your interior exterior light switches are, your awning slide room switch and then your monitor panel. Your monitor panel is where you check the levels of your black and gray and fresh water tanks, your battery level as you can see there. And then we have also on the left hand side bottom would be your water heater gas switch to turn that on then it would ignite itself after you turn your LP uh, on the front open. Uh, water pump switch is on this side so if you do dry camping fill your fresh water tank that would be your water switch water pump switch for that. Glass inserted overhead cabinet doors you'll also notice the lighting in the kitchen they have a ceiling tray uh, underneath the overheads they add additional lights underneath your range hood so very well lit job well done by gray wolf for that microwave in the overhead you have the glass drop-in cooktop which gives you more countertop space if you're not using your stove top it does have a bifold cover so this folds back and also serves as a splash guard and that is a three burner stove top you have your oven down below you have a light switch on the right hand side there is a blue LED light around each knob. Also, it does come with a sink cover. So again, if not using the sink, it gives you more countertop space. That is a single bowl uh, farmhouse style sink. <clears throat> a bank of two drawers and some cabinet door space in the base cabinet. Your refrigerator will be gas and electric. That is an eight cubic foot refrigerator has a separate freezer compartment and then beside the refrigerator is your pantry so a lot of nice storage here uh, obviously the your spouse will love the storage in the pantry always a must-have in the bathroom we have a toilet that gives you the leg room you're looking for you have a shower pan along with a skylight above the shower, and then your Create a Breeze fan uh, for ventilation. We have your vanity right inside here, and then a corner medicine cabinet there as well. In the bunk era, area in the back, so these are the large double bunks. So you have one on top and one at the bottom, along with a bunk ladder to crawl up. 
You'll also notice at each bunk, you will have its own light and USB port. In front of the bunk is where your thermostat is to operate your furnace and your air conditioner. That is a touch, that is a touch screen. So that is where you would adjust your uh, heat and your air conditioner. And moving back, uh, step all the way back here to give you a visual of the slide room area. So this is where your dinette and your sofa would be. It also has a blue LED light above your slide room. And also in the mid of your kitchen here is a skylight. This does have a shade integrated into it. So if you need more lighting, you can open that up. You'll also notice the large drawer underneath each dinette seat. And your table is on pedestal, so you can drop that down. Use your cushions uh, along the back right here to fill in over the table for additional sleeping room if needed. The sofa is a jackknife sofa, so if you look at the pictures on our website, you can see both the dinette and the sofa in the sleeping position. Um, I do have that set up so you can see what that looks like. And then moving on up into the front, we have your entertainment center. You also have pocket doors or sliding doors there. So if you need privacy in the bedroom, you do have that. So your fireplace uh, below that is just a place as people come in, you can kick off your sandals or shoes underneath there. You have different settings on your fireplace as far as heat and then different color lighting. Glass inserted cabinet doors there. And your stereo is uh, HDMI and Bluetooth compatible. And then the area for the TV on the inside with your connections up above. And in the bedroom, we have a wardrobe on each side of your bed, along with overhead cabinets, so not a lot of nice storage there. And then, like I mentioned on the outside, you do have storage underneath the bed as well. Also, in the bedroom, on each side, you see the green light on the far side is a USB port on each side. And if you would like to add a TV in the bedroom area, there is a backer up in the ceiling. So you can do a drop-down um, TV mount in the bedroom if you would like. I believe that concludes the inside of the 26 DBH. I'll do one more brief walkthrough for you. You can contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Again, my name is Phelan, and thank you for watching.